Well, coming up in just a few hours' time, advanced polls open for here in the city of Toronto. Advanced voting running every day from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. until Sunday night. Ballots can be cast either in your ward or at City Hall, and your next chance to vote will be Election Day, October 22nd. Or uh, just keep in mind, you can only vote uh, in your ward for that one. Now, what do you need to bring with you? Well, the city is recommending you have that voter identification card and ID with your name and Toronto address. If you don't have that, there are a number of things you can bring. Uh, Government-issued ID, a credit card statement, hydro bill, employer documents like a T4. In case you missed all of that that I rhymed off, just go to our website, citynews.ca. We'll have all that information for you, uh, again, with all the polling information and what you need to bring. Well, Toronto police are looking for help in finding two missing seniors, and they say they are concerned for their safety. The first man going missing in the Bonus Avenue and Kennedy Road area of Scarborough, 93-year-old Chung Lan Suai, described as 5'7", with a thin build and short white hair. He was last seen wearing brown pants, a burgundy shirt, and a brown baseball cap and black bag. Now, in a separate uh, situation here, a missing senior, 80-year-old Norman Fogel, was last seen in the Bathurst Street in Castlefield area. He is 5'7", medium build, short gray hair, last seen wearing blue jeans and a green and gray sweatshirt. Again, police here are concerned for the safety of both of these men. If you have any information, you are asked to contact police. The attorney representing the limousine company whose vehicle was involved in a deadly crash in New York State over the weekend is calling the driver a reliable employee. The lawyer is also disputing claims that the vehicle was unsafe and had failed inspection. A state official says the owner of the limousine company was an FBI informant who testified in at least one terrorism trial after being convicted of fraud. 20 people were killed here, including the driver, on Sunday when they were on their way to a birthday party. Well, it could be even worse than initially thought. Hurricane Michael is intensifying, now becoming a potentially catastrophic Category 4 hurricane as it closes in on Florida. And officials say it could be the strongest hurricane to hit the U.S. this year. And if it makes landfall as a Category 4 storm, it would also be the worst hurricane to hit the panhandle in recorded history. At least 22 counties under evacuation orders. Florida's governor called Michael a monstrous storm and urged residents to get prepared and to leave now. Three days of food, three days of water. Have your medicine. Know your evacuation route. Um, you know, make sure you have fuel in the, in the gas tanks. But have a look at this. It seems the hurricane can't stop true love. While most people preparing for the worst, one couple actually tied the knot on Panama City Beach yesterday. The couple says they planned on marrying later in the week, but they moved up the wedding because of the storm. Now, Michael is expected to make landfall in Panama City around 2 this afternoon.